This video shows the measurement system analysis of the attribute characteristics of the data. You can see this Excel file wherein we are having three appraiser A, B and C and uh, for particular part we are having parameter or judgment would be as go or no go. Now the idea is to check the compatibility of this operators and we would like to identify whether they are able to identify go to go or no go to no go or yes to yes or no to no okay to okay not okay to not okay and uh, we need to check their effectiveness now in this we have taken this reference value the reference value is the true value of the part we have taken 50 parts and again this against this 50 parts we have taken the actual value where one uh, one is indicated as no go or rejected and zero is indicated as go or accepted now we have given this 50 parts to a b and c we have taken three trials that means the 50 parts are being reshuffled in the second trial we know its reference value but appraiser is not aware of the reference value and he is actually checking with respect to go or no go or okay or not accepted and uh, we started this trial with A, so A1, A2, A3, three trials with operator A, three trials with operator B, and three trials with operator C. Kappa analysis, that is the measure of uh, effectiveness or efficiency of these operators. And it would give us the idea whether they are able to identify yes to yes and no to no. And therefore, we need this kappa value as above 75 above 75 percentage we can accept this kappa kappa value or this uh, appraiser as it is without any any training or any modification but if the value of kappa with reference to a b a c b c or with reference to the true value a to true value b to true value or c to true value if any of those goes down below 75 then we can we can reject this particular uh, analysis and we would conclude that this particular pair or an individual would be needing the training now how to interpret it how to calculate this so we are having these are the experiment which we have done for 50 parts and you can see uh, certain 1100 so here if you can see this 0 a in the trial 3 for part 5 a has told as no as okay but actually it is not okay similarly here c into this particular trial you can see the b has said it is uh, 15 numbers part as okay but it's, it is actually not okay so this is like when it is not matching that means it is missing missing the uh, right or wrong part accepting the wrong part as a right or when we are something here is zero and uh, we are accepting it let us see this is rejected and we are accepting it or uh, here in this case particularly uh, it is it is being rejected and we are accepting it so when we are having mismatch it is not matching so we let us identify uh, this particular phenomenon with the cross tabulation method so this is a cross b cross tabulation what that does mean appraiser a and appraiser b we need to check how the, um, the how the how a and b uh, the result of a and b is matching with each other and therefore if you see zero when a is saying zero that is okay how many times b also is saying okay at the same time when a is saying okay how many times b is saying it to not okay and if you see here when it is not okay a is saying is not okay how many times b is saying it is okay and when a is saying not okay b is also saying not okay so these are you can see this uh, where from where this two came so you we can check here when a is saying zero b is saying one so that means a, a, according to a it is okay and according to b it is not okay now please remember when we are doing this a a to b cross tabulation we are not checking it with the reference value because we are trying to match uh, create a pair and we are trying to check between them how they are behaving what is the outcome between them and therefore I as of now we are not going to 
check the reference value but we are checking the interaction within a and b so if i see a is saying it is okay b is saying not okay so i will go into the this particular the it is being indicated by uh, the yellow color and where a is saying okay and b is saying not okay so this is like a is saying zero but actually b is saying not okay similarly here zero and one this is one that means in the trial one it is saying not okay so like this phenomena is like when a is zero b is one that is two similarly if you can see this blue uh, light blue color and it shows like you know the one that means what when a and b both are one one so here the a and b both are one 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 zero two and this a and b both are zero zero right so that is also being indicated by this color and that if we count them if they count the pair of them so it is coming to 45 similarly one if you see one particular incidence where uh, uh, it was not okay but we said it okay so this is the one particular incidence which is being marked with the green color and that is how we can uh, get this detail so now coming to this uh, calculation so if we consider the total trial as 150 so if you see uh, because <clears throat> Uh, we are having uh, three, 50 parts and uh, three trials. So 50 into three, that is 155 incidences or 155 uh, times we have uh, checked the different different parts. So that is the total. Now we would like to take this percentage. So what? how to calculate this percentage? How to calculate the probabilities percentage of zero to zero, zero to one, 1 to z 1 to 1 1 to uh, 1 to uh, 1 to 0 and 1 to 1 now if you see the total the it is the formula of calculating this particular expected count is uh, it is like the column that is 46 the columns uh, columns uh, total and rows total that is that is being multiplied and divide by 150 because we would like to check the count of 0 0 and 0 0 1 so that is what are we are being we are trying to calculate in 40 uh, in, in this particular percentage so it is 45 and we would like to check for 45 so if we will go to the column the column count column total is 46 row total is 47 so 47 into 46 divide by 150 that would give us this 150 similarly now here if we would like to check this we would like to check the count of 1 and uh, 1 and this 2 1 when b is 1 a is 0 so th that is the count we would like to uh, yeah so we, we we would like to check when b is 1 and a, a is 0 so, and therefore we'll go total count 47 and if we go into the column of 1 it is giving us 104 so 104 into uh, 47 divide by 150 so that is the count for the b similarly we can calculate uh, this 31 like you know here also 31.59 and 71.41 31.59 is like 46 into into 103 because now we'll have to take this particular row and divide by 150 so it will give us 31.59 percentage these are the expected count expected percentage now if you see how to calculate this kappa value so uh, what is the uh, what is the kappa value kappa the formula of kappa value is p obtained and minus p expected divided by 1 minus p expected that is the formula which is being given to us uh, to calculate our kappa kappa value so if you see here this says you are having how many counts you are having uh, of uh, actually zero or actually obtained so 45 divide by 102 45 plus 102 divided by 150 so that shows how many times we are having 0 to 0 and 1 to 1 that is the obtained so that is that is being counted as PO and now what is the PO expected so let me just uh, calculate the PO expected as well so PO expected is like 0 this is like where we, we got wrong so 14.41 and 7 this is like expected value we calculated so 14.41 and 17 1.41 1 
so that is the expected and if we see here if we see this formula uh, like uh, point e o v obtained p expected v obtained so we can do the simple mathematics and we can get the kappa value of uh, a b that is 0.95 what it indicates it indicates that if we check the appraiser a and b 95 percent of the time their uh, their appraisal or their uh, outcome is matching and remember we said it should be above 75 percent so it is way above the 75 percent and therefore if we match this appraiser or if we match this pair to utilize them for any of the work probably we they don't need training and they can with the kappa value of 95 percent they are able to uh, they are they can able to complete the uh, work of the inspection or the uh, or any kind of uh, you know quality check and they can be utilized as a pair where to use this particular analysis uh, this particular analysis is are being widely used in garment factories where you are uh, you would like to check the uh, effectiveness of the pair or the person and you give them the uh, give them the different different kind of defectives and whether they can able to identify the defectives so 0 1 0 1 that is how 0 is okay 1 is not okay and you can compare this and this is the scientific way to calculate the value and based on this value you can accept it or you need to train him for, or you need to improve allow to improve him for improve him or her for the further uh, further improvements so that is what this is how being uh, done and you can see b to c cross tabulation c to s cross cross tabulation and uh, uh, that that with the reference a with the reference uh, and b with reference and c with the reference you can go with d a b c d e and more parameters as well and you can calculate the kappa value as like you know as we did you can have uh, four five instances as well zero one two three so zero is something uh, some a a phenomena one is two one another phenomena two is the the third one likewise you can compare the kappa value for uh, number of uh, attributes which you would like to explore this is like two attributes go and no go but similarly you can add more attributes to it and you can get the kappa value for all the attributes uh, it is very simple but very powerful as well and uh, look at this this is the result 0 0.95 0 0.92 the kappa value with reference to a b b c c a and this is the attribute study for the a with reference b with reference c with reference so 0 0.97 0 0.98 0 0.95 it indicates like all our uh, appraisers are way above 0 0.75 even their pairs are above uh, 75 0.75 that is 75 percent and uh, we can accept uh, this uh, appraisers as it is and we can utilize them so uh, what certain other calculation miss rate what is miss rate number of times accepting the bad part when it was uh, one that is not okay and we are accepting it so what is the person percentage of it Num uh, and that is like you know false alarm what is false alarm number of times rejecting a good part so you are having zero okay but you are rejecting it so in our case we are having two two into hundred so like we are having the rejection of uh, 1.90 so this is how you can calculate the uh, rejections uh, false alarm and effectiveness of appraisal as well so this is the simple calculations and this is the summary of uh, kappa reference effectiveness a miss rate false alarm and effectiveness and uh, this is like the reference value acceptance criteria for reference kappa reference is effective greater than uh, 90 average 80 and to 90 not acceptable below 80 so this is uh, ideally it should be below 75 below 75 you cannot accept it and these are the criteria and references for the miss rate false alarm effectiveness so this is how we can do the kappa analysis for the attributes uh, we can uh, go for the MSF for the variable in next particular video.